but the will of the Father who has sent me. John chapter 5, verse 30. When Jesus first prayed, he was hoping God would figure out another way for the situation, that he wouldn't have to succumb to the beatings, he wouldn't have to be crucified for our salvation. But then he realized that he had to succumb to the Father. He had to have faith that what the Father was telling him was the way. And that's when Jesus said, Thy will be done. He realized the Father knew best, and he had to do his father, the Father's will. Um, Jesus taught, and I found this is so weird. I didn't think I had sat and I had looked up everything I could possibly find for the word faith in the Bible. I have so many scriptures written down. And I started reading them. I'm like, this ain't hitting it. This ain't hitting it. This ain't hitting it. This ain't what I want. This ain't right. And then 6 o'clock this morning, I start digging in. And I read about, it's Mark chapter 11, verses 12 through 14, and then verses 20 through 26, where Jesus taught his disciples a valuable, a valuable lesson in faith with a fig tree. You remember that one, Dave? With a what? Fig tree. Oh, yes. I don't know. Let me find it. This is how I don't understand how you guys do it, keeping track of all this stuff in here. This is a big book. That's why I got a big head. <laughs> Your Bible's thicker than mine. <laughs> Matthew, Mark. See, this is going to I marked this, and then I didn't mark it in my Bible. Mm -hmm. Sorry. What was your reference now? Huh? What was your reference, Mark? Oh, it's Mark 11, 12 through 14. You can tell my Bible has not been used enough. It you doesn't. want somebody to read that for you? That would be great, Pete. What was the verses? 11, Mark 11, 12 through 14. Okay. Thank you. And on the morrow, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. And see a fig tree afar off, having leaves, he came. If happily he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for the time of the fig was not yet. And Jesus answered and said unto it, No man eat of, this, uh, eat of thee hereafter, and the disciples heard it. That was my point there. Jesus told them not to eat from that tree. The disciples didn't question it, and they left things alone. And then you go to verse 11, 20 through 26. And it says, now there were seven... Wait, is that where I want to be? Uh, no, see, that's not... I'm in Mark. That might help. Pete? Where do you want? Same chapter, okay, 20 through 26. 23 to 26. 20 to 26. 20. 23 might work too. And in the morning as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter called to remember, saith unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree, which thou cursest, is withered away. And Jesus answering, saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which